Income tax will go up by two pence to the pound for a temporary period of two years. The price of electricity and water will go up by 8%, as will the minimum wage, the state pension, the old age pension and disability benefits. These are just some of the measures the public is talking about today. On regards with the utilities, everything going up, we're quite struggling already as it is. Everything is going up and except for the wages. Tax needs to go up. I understand that. Whether it has to go up that much, I don't know. In terms of electricity and water, which I think is a lot of people have kicked up a fuss about, I know there was increase last year, so why this increase this year? What is the justification? Another question I pose. If it's always been the tune of why governments don't have money to buy puts, to invest in certain things, then why all of a sudden are they buying into Akujib? Why are they buying into St. Bernard's if there was no money? Where's that money coming from? I think the rise with the cost of living as it is today is, I mean, very bad. The, the, the water's going up, the electricity's going up. Well, as everybody knows, the groceries have gone up, fruits and vegetables, everything, and they gave, gave us a, a rise of four pounds, is it four pounds? Eight percent. Eight percent. I think it's disgusting. I think personally think that we've been overspending. People, we've been paying people thousands of pounds in, 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 in wages, retainers. Oh, you know, people are getting, what, 60,000 a, a month in retainer. A retainer. A guy being a backbencher, not to do or say anything. And now you're telling me that I've got to pay for all this? Uh, to be honest, I think, um, I think it's quite a good budget. It's not too strict. Um, everyone was very worried that it was going to be a lot worse. Some of the uh, things that have come out are are not very, um, very easy to understand. The Chief Minister also announced a Covid recovery charge of £25 a week for all companies. However, following representations from the industry, the government is reconsidering this. I think it's very unfair on small businesses because um, I think that most of the ones that, that did take um, any help during Covid is because they needed it to survive. And if they have to give some money back, they're going to really suffer now. And I think that's going to be a big problem for all of us because that's going to affect the whole of the community. Balance it. If a small little place is going to pay 25, a big place can't pay 25. Let them pay 200. I mean, they're making, making another money. And, and you've got the little shop that's making a living. You know, you've got to balance it, balance it down. And the pensioners balance it a bit better as well. <laughs> it's, uh, it's something that needs getting used to, yeah. you know. We just can't, you know, uh, immediately accept it like that. But I suppose, you know, government has to, you know, get some money back somehow. I think when a company like Bassadoni, Aquajib, all these massive companies are paying £25, and we as a small company have to pay exactly the same. For them it's pennies per person that work here. For us it's a big lump. Absolutely crazy. I can't understand it at all. It should be per person. There will be plenty more to digest over the next few days as we get through what's been described as the Chief Minister's toughest budget of his time in office.